my second time. And uh, adulting was one of those things that uh, I look out and I see there are a lot of millennials out here, and obviously I'm not one of those. But uh, so I had really had to, I Googled it, and I was like, what is this? And I find out, well, it's, it's the, it's becoming an adult, it's doing things that an adult should do, acting responsibly. And I thought, how am I going to relate that to my life? And uh, I thought, I know, I'm going to go back and replay my life and find out when was the first moment that I really adulted. So uh, I graduated from York High at, at the age of 17, and I'll guarantee you there were no adulting moments in those first 17 years. The only thing that ended in an ING was poop, and uh, that, that was early on. So I, I, go to, I, I went to Penn State, and I was in a dorm at the State College for, uh, for a year, and then I went to fraternity. And the fraternity, if you can relate to this, if you all saw the movie, movie Animal House, that was my fraternity. <laughs> The only, the only adult influence in my life was my high school sweetheart, my, my girlfriend, my lover, and it was Holly. And uh, she would come up every now and then on the weekends and we would have adulting, although it was another ING word that didn't begin with adult. And so my sophomore year around Around May, I get, I'm at the fraternity, I get a the, the pledge says, Brother Alec, here's a phone call, some chick on, on the line one for you. And uh, it was Holly. And she said, hey, I've got some news to tell you. I said, well, what would that be? And she said, well, the rabbit died. And I said, the rabbit died? I said, hell, I didn't know you had a rabbit. She said, you idiot, I'm pregnant, for God's sake. I'm like, oh. Well, now there's a moment right up from central casting to be an adult. And adulting came out of central casting, walked up, looked at me, and said, no. And I went over to Holly and signed her up for the role. So she has our daughter, Gretchen, and we, she moves to State College. We move into a trailer. She sets up a daycare. She's making the meals. She's doing the finances. And she's raising two kids, her daughter and me. And, <laughs> And I would help out every now, now and then by coming home to this penurious situation and saying, hey, honey, I just bought us a motorcycle. <laughs> so no adulting on the horizon for me at that point in time. So we leave and we move to, I get a job at GE, we move to Erie. And uh, she gets up there and we, she rents the house and furnishes it, does everything, sets up the social network, does the finances. And same thing happens when we move to Burlington, Vermont, except now we have two kids. So she's raising three kids. <laughs> so we move back to York. And long story short on that one is that we lived in the city. And I said, I'm tired of this. So I designed a house to be built in the country. And I sent it out to be bid for contractors. And they all came back and said, no way, we're not going to do this. It's too complicated. So I ended up, I said, I can do that as an adult or as a, as a I, don't, I didn't think that was the case, though. I, uh, I said, I can build this. I started building it myself. And I, for a year, I realized what a colossal mistake it was. So, but I got it done, and sort of. And <laughs> we're sitting in the house on 1 July, and it's, it's, it's barely livable in. We have no internal doors except a sheet over the upstairs bathroom. We have, uh, the, the sink is on saw bucks, and there's no soffits in the house, so birds would fly in and every now and then shit on the casserole on the, on the dining room table. <laughs> So we're sitting there, it's really hot, and at one point I said, you know what, we have enough money left from the mortgage. I said, we can get, we can either finish the heating system or we can put in a 20 by 40 in-ground swimming pool with a diving board. What do you think? Let's take a family vote on it. So the family vote was three to one. The one adult in the room being Holly, she voted for the heating system. So come October, it was an early winter, it was cold, it was 30s, snow's flying. She calls up and says, get your ass out here and finish the seating system. And so that's the way it went for the whole life. But I'm happy to report that finally, at one point in my life, I became an adult and I did adulting. And I remember the exact day. It was October 21st, 2016 at 7 a.m. in the morning. And that's when my high school sweetheart, girlfriend, lover, wife, died, and I've been adulting ever since.